This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Map First Impressions. Deja Vu video. This map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game at ModHub and it is available, again, for all platforms. So what am I going about? Deja Vu, available again. What? That's correct. This map in a previous iteration, let's call it a, a, a different life, was available on the Giants Mud Hub in January 21st, 2021 for all platforms. But it was also released by someone completely different than the individuals who are credited with this iteration of Klein Zoheim this time with 2K21 added on the end. But I will put a link in the description and I'll put a link up in the top corner to the original First Impressions video. And of course, I put the thumbnail, on the thumbnail, put the PDA. You're gonna find the thumbnails are nearly identical. You're gonna find the map preview that we're looking at here is different. The farm is a little different. Animals actually work on this map. You can actually sell your eggs on this map. But overall, it is Klein Zilheim from January 1st, 2021, now with a different set of individuals credited on the map. So let's see how this map has evolved in its second life. So as I said, this map is available for all platforms. This map does have two required mods. It is the Composite Machine Sheds by Vertex Design and the BGA 300 Kilowatt by Castor LSMC. So be sure to download both of those and add them to your mod folder and activate them when you come into the map. With that, let's just go ahead and, well, jump on in. So we're gonna go ahead and select the mods we typically use. And when you take a look at these maps, we're also gonna select the composite machine sheds, the BGA 300 kilowatt. Get Mahindra and Precision Farming. This map does indeed have a custom seasons mask, but it does not have a custom soil map. So if you do play with precision farming, you will have the generic soil map. Now let's read a little bit of the description while this map loads on in. It says, let's go to Klein Zilheim, a small place with idyllic courtyards where a lot of work awaits in single player. But you can also have fun in multiplayer. The map is not very big, but it, there is a lot to discover. All FS19 standards are installed except for the train. In the game, you can draw bushes, grass town, and decorative grass, not renewable, grass rogue, snow mask drawn for seasons, as we said. The card offers three courtyards, the main courtyard with cows, two with pigs, farm three with sheep and chickens. 26 field, seven meadows, seven sales outlets, forest for forest work, a BGA, multi-fruit silo at the main courtyard, and the list just goes on. So let's go ahead and jump on in. With all of that out of the way, this video is brought to you by Rick Wharf. Thank you for being a farm baron. So let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. There you go. Like I said, if you remember the Klein Zilheim video from January 21st, this is the same PDA. The meadows are now numbered, but that is pretty much just the only difference. We have all of our standard crops available to us here on Farm Sim 19. If we take a look at the lands area, you see we do own Field 14. We own the main cow farm right here. We own a meadow just to the north of the main cow farm. We have a placeable area, we own field 16, and we own the quote unquote unbuyable land for
And I am now. Hold on. Cannot sell land while you still own the placeables. Interesting. So we can't sell this land because we can't sell the placeables that are on the unbuyable land. Okay. Let's go ahead and just take a look at some of these other land prices. Field one is $147,000. Field 24 is $147,000 also. Field nine is $152,000. Field six, $74,000. Field seven, one forty-one. dollars Area 17 is $30,000. We can buy the biogas plant for $69,880. And then we have some forest over here for $314,000. Pretty much lets us, lets us buy most of the dedicated forest. There's a little bit of forest over here in field nine. So we can pick up that up for 152000 and get a little bit of forest land also. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how the generic soil map maps its way out on this map. Now, as an aside note, the original version of this map from January also did not have a custom soil map. So you can see we've got a big swath of silty clay here to the north. We've got some loam down here to the south and just north of the center of the map. Then we have field 17 and 14, which are mostly loamy sand. See, we have three cell points on this iteration of the map. Uh, the first iteration of the map had just two cell points. So we had three for the bulk of our grain crops. We do indeed, this time around, have two places to sell our eggs. We have the same two places to sell our milk. We do have a spinnery for cotton and wool. We also have a sawmill where we can sell wood chips. When I watched the first version of this map, the video, we did not have a place to sell wood chips. And if we do not own the biogas plant, we can sell our silage, hay straw, and grass down at the barn. If we are playing with the straw harvest add-on, there are three locations where we can sell straw pellets and one location where we can sell our hay pellets. Take a look at our vehicles. You can see that we do not lease anything. None of it is leased, it is all owned. All of it is well maintained and has pretty much no operating hours. So we're gonna get real good resale value for this stuff, should we so wish. We do not have any animals, even though we do start out with the cow pen. And we do have contracts available to us on the map. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at that starting equipment. We've got the Fent 310 Vario. We have the John Deere 6230R. We have the 6135M John Deere. So our tractor's range in horsepower from 110 to 280 horsepower. We have the Ronald Smash, at least that's how I like to say it, 330 Harvester. And that is paired up with the Power Stream 500 Grain Header. We have the HKD 302 Trailer. We have the POH5 Plow, the Coltimer L300 Cultivator, the D830 Cedar. We have the Hardy Sprayer. Then we have the Coon Side Mower, the Vicon Fanex 604 Tedder, for the Coon SR314 Wheel Rake. And we have the Zelon CFS 2501DO Forage Wagon. Then we have also the New Holland Round Baler. We have our header trailer, weights, and then we move into our placeables. So we can sell a pig enclosure, sheep pasture, chicken coop. We have the small multi-fruit silo here at the main farm, another small multi-fruit silo. Then we have some vertex design buildings, workshop, and then a multitude of water triggers. And we do have a sellable sleep trigger. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy these animal pens. We can sell them. Can we buy them back? We can indeed buy the large pig enclosure and the chicken coop. We have a cow pasture that we could purchase. We couldn't sell it. And I'm pretty sure we had a sheep pasture, but we can't buy that should we happen to sell it. Under miscellaneous, we have our biogas plant and our water trigger. Under our silos, we do have our two custom silos that we can buy. Sheds, we of course have the Vertex Design Sheds, which are a required mod. And under Farmhouses, we do have our Sleep Trigger, 
So we could sell the sleep trigger and place it back down somewhere else. Let's go ahead and kind of do a little bit of a tour around the main farm here. So our farmhouse is just on the other side of this shed and this fence. Or should I say wall? So here we have our sleep trigger. You can see directly in front of us, we do have our farm silo. So we have our dump station and our fill pipe right there. Now over here we have our cow pasture. So we have our manure pile. And unlike the first iteration of this map, this is where we can buy our cows. 200 cows in this particular pin. We have our straw trigger inside this door right here. And then inside of this door, we have our food trough and our water trough. Our food trough is all the way down here. And then the water trough is right there. Now we do play with animal pen extension when we do these map videos. So that's what these pipes are. They are helping us locate where the water trough is and help us locate if this particular map happened to have custom support for the animal pen extension mod. Now we have our slurry trigger right there and then we have our milk trigger right around the corner here again the lily milk sales machine is part of the animal pen extension mod and it does help us locate where the milk trigger is and if you're playing with this particular mod you can position this and basically get auto milk sales out of it we've got our workshop pair of our vertex design buildings we have a three door and a four door and then we have some more of our equipment and that pretty much is the main farm here so let's go ahead and get set up for the fly around do a fly around the map come back to the shop grab our Mahindra and do our drive around Let's get a little bit of altitude and do our complimentary 360 rotation here. So we're looking down for the southern edge of the map at this point. Now that church and the little town up there on the hill, that is out of bounds. I will say that the tower that is right here in the middle of this meadow, it does indeed have a collision on it. There we have field nine with the little square of trees. Directly below, we have the meadow that we have as far as our starting land. And it does indeed have a sleep trigger there where the pond is. We have our shop. And then in the first iteration of this map, all of our equipment was over at the shop. And we'll also have to see if we have a maintenance and repair trigger over there because that was not available in the first iteration released in January. You see our idyllic little town here, some cell points and some farms off in the distance. So directly below we have our, uh, this is our milk, one of our milk and egg sales. This is our grocery store. We have our barn and our animal dealer. We have our fuel workshop. We have a so another fuel workshop. We have our fuel gas station. Sorry, we've got a line point and a cell point directly below here. Our biogas plant off in the distance. And again, this is the required biogas plant. So typically what I have seen in maps that have a biogas plant listed as a required mod. If you do not add it, you will see the BGA, but none of the triggers will work. 
So make sure you definitely add that. If you are finding that your triggers don't work, you will need to start a new save game in order to get that fixed. So below here we have a farm that is for sheep and chickens. We have our sawmill and another grain cell point over here as well as our binary. Lose a little bit of altitude so we can kind of get a general feel of the lay of the land. The map is not totally flat, but it doesn't really have a whole lot of rolling hills or anything either. Over here we have our pig farm. And then another kind of meadow with a, a water trigger. And we're going to go ahead and loop back around here to the shop. So just want to check here behind the shop and see if we have anything. We definitely do not have anything behind the shop. Here we have our shop trigger. And we do now have a customized repair, sell, and trade trigger also. Let's go ahead and hit our shop trigger. Pick up our Mahindra. See where the stuff spawns in at. It spawns in in the rear of the shop. So we have a fairly modest area here for vehicles to spawn in. Not a whole ton of area, so you probably don't want to be buying seven or eight pieces of machinery before you clear it out of the way. Do you just want to make sure that this trigger does work? There we go. And let's just go ahead and head up here and check out the pig farm. It is to the north. Here's the orange roads are kind of dirt paths, whereas the other roads are more paved in a variety. So we do have our second farm silo up here at the pig area. We have our manure. We have our food trough. We have our water trough. Sorry, this is our straw trigger. We have our, cat, our pig buy point right here. 300 pigs in this particular shed. We have our food trough. We have our slurry point, and then just a couple of buildings. Not a whole lot of storage space here at the pig farm. There is no sleep trigger here at the pig farm, so if you do want to make this your kind of base of operations, you will have to sell the other sleep trigger and put one down here if you should so wish.
All right, let's go ahead and loop on around here to our cell points that are on the far west of the map. You like that detail with the, the burned out house. That was pretty cool. Now, if we turn right, that is going to be kind of out of bounds. Looks like I needed to turn right, so I just kind of cheat up through here. Got a guardrail here. Oh, okay, here we go. So here to our left, we have our log and wood chip cell point. We have our logs and our log trigger. We have our wood chip pile for our wood chips. Over here we have our grain dump station, as well as our wool and cotton cell point. We'll make our way over here to the biogas plant. One thing to note here at the biogas plant is we're going to have to put our own silage bunkers down. But when we do that, then we have our digester right here and our digestate trigger right over here. See, we do have a custom grass texture here. It's kind of come out to seed a little bit. We have little yellow daisies. Let's go ahead and check out the sheep and chicken farm. So the reason, okay, so the reason we can't buy the sheep area is it is a standard in-game sheep area. I know that because of this trigger right here is for the water pipes and it shows up if one, the map has been prepared or the Animal Pen Extension mod, or you're using a standard base game pen area. So we have our water trough. We have our food trough. Of course, we have our wool spawn point, and then our animal spawn point right there. 80 sheep. And we have our chicken coop, which has its trigger right here to buy chickens. 100 chickens. We have our food trough for our chickens, and then our eggs are going to spawn inside the building here. And once again, this farmhouse does not have a sleep trigger. You have a water trigger here. I believe we've gone ahead and bought all the animals, so let's go ahead and look at those food requirements. We have wheat or barley. Pretty stock there. Sheep, pretty standard. Pigs, standard there. And then we have our cows at the main farm. Again, fairly standard. There is one more. I just kind of forgot about it. 
There is one more cow pasture. It is the cow pasture that we cannot sell, but we can buy. We'll have to go check that out here in a moment. So we have another one of our grain sell points. We have a lime buy point. We have our fuel station. Here we have our animal dealer. We have one of our egg and milk cell points. Just want to see if that kind of uh, manhole thing was a collision or not. It is not. There's another one of those over in a field that has that tower uh, and it does not have a collision but the tower does so we have another water point and then we have kind of an open cow pasture this guy here he's awesome he milks our cows for us and puts them up here on the podium so this is our milk trigger again we can identify it with the animal pin extension milk sales machine here we have our water trough Located right there, we have our cow buy point right there, but we can't buy it until we buy the cow area for $76,000. Now that we own it, we can buy our cows. 100 cows in this particular area. Let's go ahead and check our garage and see if we can now sell this particular building. We can indeed now sell this, so we couldn't sell it earlier because we didn't have it. And then inside of here we have our food trough. Now if we take a look at this particular animal pen, you'll see that they do not produce manure, they do not produce slurry, and they do not take straw. And guys, I think, well, we got one more, one more cell point to look at. We need to double back to the shop. I have to say, overall, deja vu, this map is, in my opinion, in a much better situation than the original version that was, again, released in January of this year. Not really sure what was up with that. Why we have a re-release under a slightly different name by a pair of totally different individuals. But uh, overall, if you liked the other version of this map, but uh, couldn't play it because of the issues, like the missing animal triggers, the lack of a maintenance trigger here at the shop, and some of the other things that I had discovered during my drive around of that particular map it does appear that this version has had those things corrected and then here we have our third grain cell point and then our barn cell point is located right there now i do want to check and see those appear to be just decorative. They do not appear to be any sort of bulk buy trigger. Nope, no bulk buy trigger. So guys, that is it. That is Klein Zelheim 2K21. Big shout out to all of the members of the channel. Farm hands, farm bosses, and farm barons. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of this rendition of Klein Zielheim.
And until next time, happy farming.